What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three glitches in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These glitches work on 1.18 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, including phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and a Switch and PC. This first glitch I'm going to be showing you all is a piston and sticky piston duplication glitch. For this glitch, all you'll need is 10 obsidian, 9 redstone, 1 lever, 1 TNT, 1 flint steel, and finally some sticky pistons or pistons. You guys can either have 9 sticky pistons, 9 pistons, or have a mixture of both. The first step is to place an obsidian block. Now place three blocks on top. One, two, three. Now place another obsidian block over here. Now create a layer of obsidian blocks around that block. Now break these two blocks. Having obsidian blocks will prevent those areas from getting destroyed. Now place a lever over here. Then place redstone on all of these other obsidian blocks. That redstone will make the pistons or sticky pistons extend. The next step is to place the pistons or sticky pistons you want to duplicate over here. Make sure you place them facing downwards. After you have placed the sticky pistons or pistons you want to duplicate, put the lever down. As you guys can see here, that should cause all of them to extend. Once you have done that, place TNT over here, now light it. Once the pistons explode, go pick them up. As you guys can see there, your pistons or sticky pistons should then be duplicated. I placed 9 pistons and got 14 pistons back. I am now going to demonstrate using the system again. To use it again, all you guys need to do is place some more pistons or sticky pistons. Once you have done that, place TNT over here. Now light it. After the TNT has exploded, go pick up the items. By the way, if this glitch does not work for you, I recommend you try it again. You should eventually be able to get it to work. As you guys can see there, I was able to get the sticky pistons to duplicate. I am now going to show you how to do an armor duplication glitch that can also be used to get you XP. For this glitch, all you'll need is 6 ladders, 21 saw blocks, you guys can use any type of saw block that you want, but I have a couple examples of saw blocks include cobblestone or planks. 1 piston, 1 bow, 2 instant damage, 2 arrows. But I believe this glitch will still work even if you only use 1 instant damage, 2 arrow, as long as the arrow is strong enough to kill you. 1 lever, 1 bed, you guys can use any type of bed that you want. And find some armor that is enchanted with thorns 3. By the way, you guys can use any type of armor that you want, and the armor can have any extra enchantments that you want. The main thing that matters is that it has the Thorns 3 enchantment. For example, you guys can choose to duplicate a set of armor like this, because each armor has the Thorns 3 enchantment. The first step is you push 3 blocks over here, 3 over here, 3 over here, and 3 over here. Now place a piston at this spot, make sure that piston is facing this way. Then place a block at each of these spots. Then place 2 blocks over here, 2 over here, 2 over here, and 2 over here. Then place a lever at this spot. Whenever that layer is flicked down, the piston will extend. Now break these two blocks. This will allow to stand over here. The next step is to come to the back. Now place six ladders over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six ladders will allow you to easily access to this top spot. At this point, I recommend you guys place a bed over here. Now click on it. As you guys can see there, you should then get a message saying your respawn point has been set. By setting your respawn point over there, after you die, you will be able to respawn over there and pick up all the items easily. Now I recommend you guys place some chests. These chests will be where you put your items into. To do this glitch, first wear some armor that is enchanted with thorns 3. Then climb this ladder. Now flip this lever down. Then shoot two instant damage 2 arrows at the middle part of that piston. As you guys can see there, your instant damage arrows should get stuck on the extended portion of that piston. Then come down here, now come over to the spot, the air should still be up there, now flick the lever up. Once you die, respawn. As you guys can see there, you should then have a bunch of duplicated armor. I recommend you guys pick up this armor and put them into chests before they despawn. As you guys can see here, from doing this glitch just one time, I was able to get a bunch of duplicated armor. By the way, if you guys do this glitch, I recommend you pick up all the armor before doing it again. That's because if too much armor gets onto the ground, your game can lag. If you guys want to do the glitch again, all you guys need to do is repeat that process. First, wear some armor that is enchanted with Thorns 3. Now come up here. Then flick this lever. Now shoot two instant damage 2 arrows over here. 
Then come down here. Nice near the spot. Then fix this lever up. Now respawn. As you guys can see here, you'll now have a bunch more duplicated armor. To get XP from this armor duplication glitch, all you guys need to do is place down a grindstone. Now open it. Then place some of the duplicated armor in here. Whenever you disenchant a piece of duplicated armor, you'll get some XP. As you guys can see there, I was able to easily get to level 30. This next duplication glitch I'm going to be showing you is a duplication glitch that can be used to duplicate an atom. For this glitch, all you'll need is 14 obsidian, 1 flint steel, and finally 1 sugar box. The first step is you place 4 obsidian. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now place another 4 obsidian over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then place 3 over here, and 3 over here. Now use flint steel to ignite the center portal. The next step is you place on a sugar box. Now open it, then put the items you want to duplicate inside of it. Now break the sugar box. Once you've done that, go into the nether. After in the nether, save and quit out of the world. At this point, I recommend you guys make a copy of your world just in case something goes wrong. Now we're going to the world again. Then enter the nether portal. Now place down the circle box right before you get teleported through. Now walk out of the nether portal. Then exit Minecraft without hitting save and quit. Now open Minecraft back up again. Then go back onto your world. As you guys can see there, you should then have duplicated the sugar box. You have a sugar box in your inventory with all the items you want to duplicate, and there will be another sugar box over here. Both of these sugar boxes will have the same items. To do this glitch again, all you guys need to do is repeat the process of going to the nether portal, then placing that in a sugar box right before you're teleported through, then walking out of the nether portal, then exiting Minecraft without hitting save and quit, then going back into your world. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these three glitches of Minecraft Bear Arch Edition. By the way, I don't recommend that you guys do these glitches because I consider them to be cheating. I don't do these glitches on my survival world because I don't like cheating. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching!